Hi, Dr. Dick Webster, and I'm a nuclear medicine physician. We'll learn about, more about what that means, but we image physiology, and I'm also an expert in something which is the ultimate tool in imaging body physiology, and particularly of cancer, dementia, and other diseases called positron emission tomography, or PET scanning. It has been the world standard of imaging management of cancer for up to 20 years, and in places like Chile uh, and Argentina, but not if you have the misfortune of living in Ontario. We are, in fact, officially last place now in the world. Uh, we have the least number of PET scans performed per thousand population. Uh, the fact is, is that uh, Ontario physicians like myself are forced to practice medicine based on the mid-90s uh, to late-90s, and uh, as you will see, we are ultimately forced to what, uh, perform what literally are assaults on patients. Dare challenge that, and you will be threatened, as you see, hospital administrators and myself, for example, for uh, being public about this. Um, so, in fact, what you need to know is that as far back as 2005, uh, the experiments that are being performed by Cancer Care Ontario at McMaster to this day were declared um, unethical and in 2009 immoral. So this is a short, very quick sketch or outline of what I hope to accomplish. And my ultimate goal, of course, is to try and get bring our patients into the 21st century of how modern medicine is performed and not quite literally and officially last place in the world. Um, so that I'm the only way this is going to happen is if we get this out through social media because as I pointed out, the, uh, as you will see, every uh, major source of news and information in this province and in Canada, of course, have been an integral part of how the government accomplished their mandate to block PET and take us to last place in the world. We've just had an election in Ontario and if you think that there's going to be any difference with the PCs, uh, sadly, I was hoping there would be, but at the moment I'm not convinced that that will be the case and so if we don't bring this to, uh, to uh, uh, a public outrage level, then we simply will remain last place in the world. Um, I have dealt with every political party from day one, um, and interestingly, as you will find, the quotes party of the people, the NDP, have been one of the most essential parts to blocking PET uh, from patients in Ontario. Um, and if you think our safeguards, such as the Ombudsman's offices, the Attorney Generals, and the Auditor General, uh, lawyers, uh, you know, you name it, any organization in this province which you think think uh, or you imagined might uh, make Ontario special, that we're somehow this wonderful, open, transparent, and accountable democracy, you will be sadly, you will, be, you will have a, hopefully a, a realization and a wake-up call that will help us make that change that I think by the end you will wonder if we're not really some banana republic like Zimbabwe uh, when you realize, uh, you know, what has really happened in intentionally to our patients. So in the short introductory video, I just want to make a very brief outline of how I hope to accomplish that. And I'm going to do that with very short videos and case examples uh, to hopefully really uh, shock people into realizing just how bad medicine is in Ontario. Uh, and if you have cancer, I've said repeatedly, you should leave the province because, and I, I think you'll understand what I mean by that in the end, uh, you'll hear examples of, uh, you know, a woman with a history of smoking and breast cancer, an incidental nodule, um, and if it was actually cancer and required treatment, she would not actually maybe know about that for up to a year and a half or more on a routine basis. And as she said to a physician, my life is absolutely on hold, I can't sleep, I'm, I'm just consumed by this. Whereas if she lived in Quebec or for that matter Paraguay, if it was cancer, we could have known had her on appropriate treatment within six to eight weeks. You'll hear about an 84-year-old uh, woman who undergoes a biopsy of her chest, which, which uh, in fact was negative even though we knew she had cancer, uh, ended up with a collapsed lung and in hospital for four or five days. Why? Because 90% of the indications that we're forced to use in Ontario are the exact opposite of the entire world expert body of opinion. And this is the kind of assault this forces us to do on patients. You hear about a woman with cervical cancer who life's become, who life's, whose life became an absolute nightmare um, and, and that was directly because of how we were forced to treat her and in fact standing up and trying to advocate for this uh, particular patient led to my being threatened by Cancer Care Ontario. And if you are a woman with breast cancer you, you will realize that the Ontario government through Cancer Care Ontario and their McMaster uh, associates uh, have made a special effort to make sure that as today stands uh, and based on experiments that were declared unethical and bordering on immoral that we are the only medical jurisdiction on the planet that, that denies that PET scanning could in fact provide critical benefit for particular women with uh, type uh, with breast cancer stages and so on and in fact uh, the best news in my whole 40 years of medicine uh, has now come out around the world for prostate cancer uh, but you're now on the sites of Cancer Care Ontario and McMaster and the government and uh, they're going to make sure you do not have that available either because their job has been since the late 90s to discredit, delay and block PET and they're all very proud of how they've done that. 
Um, so I want, I'm hoping that people will follow me and, and like my posts and so on. And ultimately, this hopefully will lead to a significant enough outcry from the population that in spite of the news media and in spite of some of our politi politicians' efforts and certainly their uh, medical experts, that we will, in fact, finally force uh, the system to make available 21st century medicine for our patients. So please uh, do what you can. Uh, you contact me through my email, which will be on there. Uh, get this to as many people as possible. This is the kind of thing we do need to go viral. Otherwise, you get sick, we, as we do all someday, and you will be simply a pawn and a victim in a system which was trying to save money and in the end cost us more uh, and made a lot of physicians wealthy uh, in the meantime. And of course, that's part of the problem, isn't it? It's always been about money, and we need to change that to a patient-focused uh, system.